glory to Jesus, beautiful people. God bless you. I welcome you to this beautiful section and I pray that this word meets you well and let this word increase you in the light of God's God expectations for your life in, 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 in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. This is good news. I want to speak to you about your secret place. Um, the Lord is speaking to you because you have neglected the the consecration of your sacred place. I want to say that your success and everything that you probably stand today to rejoice about is connected to the Lord who has seen you from the days of little beginning till now. And if you neglect the sacred place, you are neglecting the altar where your strength comes from. When, I, when we speak about the secret place, most of the time, you don't understand that the secret things you kneel down by your bed and speak to the Lord. It's something that stands for you in your going out and in your coming in. Now, I want you to see something. Now, scripture has made us to understand that the kingdom of God is not just in meat and drink. It is not only in words, but it's also in the demonstration of power. How is the power demonstrated? There are things that goes down. The moment you open your mouth to speak to a heavenly father, they flee not because you have strength, they flee, they disappear because they understand the capacity of the one you're talking to. And in your consistency, you have you have a time where when you shut your door, no matter who is locking, who is knocking, you understand that it is time to talk with the Lord. And I want you to take this very serious because this is a moment where you have to be you have to examine again if you are in line with with the word of god and check the importance of the sacred place by rededicating and consecrating that sacred place if you don't know how to go about that you can drop a comment on the section the comment section i'm going to respond to it and i'm also going to give you guide how to build a stable relationship beyond what it's offered in the natural god bless you